Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm using this adorable penny black stamp. It is called Make a Wish, and this is a clean mount rubber stamp. So I'm going to put it on my Fiskars stamp press, and using Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I'm going to ink it up. I'm using some heavyweight white cardstock, and just really pressing that down to get a good image. I'm using a baby wipe to clean it off. And these are my favorite. I'm using the Distress Ink Markers from Tim Holtz and coloring her skin with antique linen. I'm just quickly coloring and I'm not using any type of water coloring for this. And that's what I like about these markers that you can use them without watercolor if you want. So for her cheek, I added just a little bit of spun sugar and her hair I'm using old paper and then gathered twigs, really simple to do. And now I'm picking out some pattern paper for her little skirt, so I'm matching the color with it. And for her shirt, I'm using Picket Fence, just to add a little white and then going over with milled lavender just around where the artist um, added shadows to the stamped image. For her shoes, I use Spun Sugar and the little heart on her top as well. So now I'm just inking up the skirt part so I can press it down onto that pattern paper and fussy cut that out. That only took me just a minute to do it. It was very quick since it's so tiny. And you want to turn the paper and not your scissors. That'll give you a much cleaner edge. I'm also going to go around the edge of the skirt in case there's any white parts from the paper with the black soot distress marker. And that makes it look like it's a perfect cut every time if you do that. So now I'm deciding that I want to add um, a little bit of the white gel pen. I'm using a Signo Uniball Broad white gel pen. I got mine from Amazon and I'm going around the edge of her skirt because I plan on flipping up the skirt. So I'm using my bone folder and just um, turning that up just a little bit so it gives it some dimension and I only glued the top of her skirt so the bottom of her skirt can can um, flip up just a little bit. So now I'm just cut, uh, coloring in the dandelions. I'm using Tattered Rose and I do go over the little flower with my Wink of Stella clearer brother glitter brush pen. Sorry, I'm a little tongue tied today, I guess. So here's the image up close. It turned out so cute. I just got these spell binders. These are the labels 39 die and I absolutely love this bracket shape. So I'm showing you here that five of them come in the pack and I'm going to choose the large one to cut it out using my Sizzix Big Shot machine. I'm just taping it with some scotch tape just to hold it in place. It cuts out beautifully and this is really heavy weight. It's 110 cardstock. So now I decided I wanted a frame for my image. So I'm using the largest and the second largest in the die set to cut out a frame. And I chose this pink paper, but I end up not using this in the end. It was just too much pink for me, I guess. But I was trying my best to match it to her skirt. I do end up gluing it down and I will leave it. I'll just add a piece of paper over it here in a little bit. I'm using my Scotch Quick Dry and just going adding it to the edge of that image there. And then I do end up distressing it with festive berries, but again, you won't see that in the end. This is the Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit, and I use this for my stylus and my um, Martha Stewart scoreboard. It gives it a perfect crease. So I cut my cardstock to five and a half inches squared. I cut it to five and a half by 11 and scored it at five and a half. And now I'm deciding on a pattern paper to go on the base of my card and I couldn't find any in that Simple Story Snap collection. So I'm using this My Mind's Eye Adventure collection. And I'm leaving a, a tiny white border of my card base. 
So I'll adhere that down using the Angel Craft Tape and the one quarter inch. This is a very strong adhesive. And now here's where I decided I didn't like the pink. So I'm using some more of that same My Mind's Eye pattern paper. And I will adhere it down. In the finished product, you can see a tiny bit of the pink peeking through, but it actually looks really cute because it does match her skirt. And it's, it's just a little bit that you'll see peeking through. It's not very noticeable at all, but I didn't mind. I could have re-stamped it. I didn't want to do that, but if it bothered me, I would have done that, but it didn't bother me. Even if a little showed through, I was okay with that. So now here's the second mat that I'm putting on my card base and I'm cutting it to, I believe, five by five to leave a little border. And I do, again, use my stylus and take it to my scoreboard and I add some creases to the edge of my paper just to give it a little bit dimension. And I'll show you up close here. You can sort of see it in the light right there. It just gives it a little bit added dimension, a little um, around the corners. So I will again adhere my mat down. And now I'm just kind of tearing and distressing the edges just slightly. I don't want it too distressed, but I am adding a few rips in it. I didn't want it flat down. And now I'm adding some chipboard to the back of my image to pop it off the page. Again, using my Scotch Quick Dry. And it gives it a perfect amount of dimension. I'm going to add several flowers and leaves with my hot glue gun. And this can be in any occasion card. I left it blank on the inside until I decide who the card will be going to and then I'll add a sentiment to the inside of the card once um, I determine who I'll be sending this to or giving this to. So I'm adding a, a tiny cluster in the bottom right, as you can see, and then I will add a few up in the top left as well. That little stamped image is so cute. I love it. And her little skirt is just so cute to me. So this here is a penny black die cut and it's called Envision. I'll have the links to all of these products used down in the description box along with at Cut at Home's blog so you can find exactly where I got these from on the Cut at Home website. And again this die is called Envision. It comes with two words imagine and dream and I did cut them apart with my wire cutters and I'm just running them through my Sizzix um, again, using heavyweight cardstock, so I added a shim of another piece of paper there just to give me a perfectly clean image. And look how beautiful that cuts out. I love that font. And Penny Black has several of these to choose from. So I didn't like the white on there because it blended in too much. So I'm going to use some removable adhesive and press the die cut into the removable adhesive. And I'm using one of my Tim Holtz Distress Markers. I end up using antique linen and just coloring the paper. And then I was very happy with how it blended with the image. So I'm deciding where I want it on my card and I decided I wanted a it to be a little bit thicker, a little more sturdy. So I'm using some lightweight chipboard and I cut it out, which as you can see, it cuts out beautifully as well. I added a shim to my um, Big Shot as well. So now I'm just going to add my glue, adhere those together. These little tweezer bee tweezers really help with small delicate items like this. So I add kind of a lot of glue and then I press it onto the paper to take away most of that wet adhesive and now it's a perfect amount to add onto my card. So I do end up adding the two little eyes in the word. 
and again just going around distressing the edges a little bit more. So that's my finished card. Please check out Cut at Home's blog. All the information will be listed along with detailed photos. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.